Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to fine tune ChatGPT so it can read from any PDF document and then you can chat with that PDF document, asking it any questions, uh, asking for a summarization, pretty much anything. So let's get into it. So I was inspired by this GitHub repo by Scientific Coding and they put a lot of this stuff together already, uh, but I wanted to be able to do it in Google Colab. And so there were a, a quite a few bugs that I had to work through and I created a collab notebook that does work uh, right now. And so you can use it immediately and I'll drop it in the description below. So here it is. So what we're gonna be using mainly is Langchain to put the different pieces together. We're gonna be using OpenAI and their API to actually do the prompting and the responses. We're gonna be using ChromaDB to actually store the data. You'll see a little bit later, we're not persisting the data, but you're welcome to do that. And then we have a bunch of libraries to help read and break apart PDFs so that they're actually usable by the large language model. So up here first, we have all the installations that we need to go through. I'm not gonna talk through each one, but I added a little comment next to most of them talking about what they actually do. So feel free to check it out. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is come in here. We have a bunch of installs to do. You go ahead, click the play button. You can see here it took about four minutes. Next, you're gonna import OS and then you're gonna assign the environment variable OpenAI API key and you're gonna put your key there. So you're gonna go to OpenAI, sign up for an account, grab an API key and then place it right here. So we're gonna be using two things from Langchain. First, we're gonna be using the unstructured PDF loader which allows you to load PDFs and so large language models can actually use them and read from them. And next we're gonna be using the vector store index creator, which allows this PDF and other data to be stored in vector format to be easily read by large language models. Okay, next we're gonna load up to Tektron 2. And right here on this line, you're talking about the device that you're gonna be using to actually do the processing. So I'm using a CPU, but you can easily just replace it with a GPU. And if you're using Colab, you do have the ability to enable a GPU for your session. So go ahead and do that. And if you do do that, put a GPU there. It's not necessary, but it'll make things a lot faster. Next, we're gonna download the PDF and that's what's happening right here. So I downloaded the Meta Earnings PDF, but you can put any PDF that you want as long as it's on the web and it can be downloaded. Next, I make a directory called docs and then I move the file that I just downloaded over to the docs folder. So remember, if you use a different PDF, you're gonna take the file name and then you can place it right here and then move it to the docs folder. I'm sure there's a way to download it directly to that docs folder, I just didn't do it. So feel free to update your own code if you see fit. Next, I specify a variable that we're gonna be using and it just tells the system that we're gonna be using the docs folder. And then here we're actually loading up the PDF. And so we're using the unstructured PDF loader from Langchain we load up the PDF and put it into this loader's variable. Here's another issue that I ran into. So I kept getting an error that the popular utils was not available, even though it definitely was. So I'm installing it manually right here. And if you do this, it'll just fix that error. So this is where the majority of the processing happens. You're taking the loaders that we just created with the PDF, and it's basically creating a vector store from that PDF. And so you can see it happening here. And then I want to note this final line here, ChromaDB using embedded DuckDB without persistence. So we're not actually persisting the data. So as soon as this session ends in Google Colab, that data will be gone. You're welcome to actually persist the data on your own machine. And also all of this should technically work on your local machine if you didn't want to use Google Colab. And that's it. And then we create the query. So simple text string query, how much revenue did Meta make in 2022? And we have this index right here, which is the vector store index creator output. So we say index.query and we input the query and Meta made 104.2 billion in revenue in 2022. And then I also ask it a more kind of high level question. What are Meta's biggest risks? And it goes on to say Meta's biggest risks include the impact of macroeconomic conditions on their business and financial results, et cetera, et cetera. You can ask it any question you want. And that's it. Feel free to play around with this. You can try larger PDFs. You can try any PDF that you want. I'm gonna be making a series of these videos with different data types. And so enjoy it. I'm gonna drop this notebook in the description below. Feel free to copy it, play around with it, modify it. Let me know if you build anything cool. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.